the significance of Martin McGuinness coming here tonight, Noma County Toronto? It's fantastic. Look around you, look at the crowd that's here and the buzz that's here from everybody. They're all here to hear what Martin has to say. They're all very interested in Martin. They all vote for him locally in, in many elections over down through the past, I think, 14 years when Martin has stood first for electoral politics. Um, I think the fact that we're in stand here in Oma tonight is very significant. The people up here can't vote. In Tyrone, we can't vote for Martin in the presidential election. Anybody in the six counties can't vote. That's not good enough. I think the fact that Martin has come along here tonight is fantastic and it shows he'll be a president for all the people of Ireland. hesitation and, and coming once ahead what they were planning to do uh, for a number of reasons. I think you know Martin very well received here, no on a personal level, a uh, very grounded man, uh, very selfless in, in his work and his time that he gives to the people at grassroots level. You know, and uh, I think the, the people in East Throne would verify that uh, the vote him in every few years. So uh, there's never any doubt on my point of view. Likewise, for so many people here in Throne, uh, we would be annoyed and appalled by the treatment that he is receiving you know, by some sections uh, of the media. We can't vote for him. So, you know, a lot of people, and, and since this was organised, a lot of people contacted me to say it's great to see somebody doing something. Uh, they would love to be there and, and to send on their support. And even tonight in this hall, there's 400 people seated listening and, and supporting Martin. There's another two or 300 outside that couldn't get in. You know, so it's a measure of uh, the support here in Throne uh, for Martin and for his uh, campaign, uh, hopefully a successful campaign to, uh, to the RS. What motivated me to come here tonight is basically the fact that Martin McGuinness has done so much for us over the years. I mean, he's been in politics for a very, very long time now. He is a leader and I really do feel that he has got the best experience for the job at the minute. What would your comment be to the negative campaigning from certain sections of the media and the political establishment in Dublin be? Well, basically, as I said, we have to look forward, we can't look back. And it's very important for our children and the future of our country, politically and economically. Well, on my way out here, I was interviewed by, I think it was UTV, maybe it was the BBC, but it was definitely RT. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was asked a question. I was asked the question why I was canvassing the Noma. <laughs> and I had to remind them that uh, Tyrone is part of Ireland. <laughs> to come here to wish Martin all the best and I'm heartbroken that I can't vote for him. I voted for him in East Tyrone in a number of elections and I would love to be able to do the same for him now. He is going to be a president of the people, without a doubt. You know, I was motivated to come here tonight because Martin McGuinness first and foremost is standing for the president of uh, Ireland. I must say I'm very angry that as a young person I can't actually vote in this election. And listening to Martin tonight, there's hundreds of people in that hall and a lot of people cannot vote for him and they're very, very angry and very justifiably angry that this election should be held across the 32 counties and that is not the case at present. I'm, I'm the grandson of a Donegal farmer. My, my grandfather farmed a small holding in a place called the uh, Middle Alleys between Bogtrana and Cairndola uh, with his wife Katie. They were both dirty but they had a nickname them Walls because there were so many dirties in my problems in the town land. And uh, I think my first poster in this election that went up, I uh, went up at the foot of my grandma's way about a week ago. And uh, of all the posters that are up in all of Ireland's 32 counties, it's a poster I'm most proud of. My campaign is in every one of Ireland's 32 counties because I am uh, an unashamed and very proud Irish Republican. As Peter and Jude have said, uh, as far as we are concerned, uh, there is no border in our minds. We are people who love freedom. We are people who love justice. We are people who love peace. 
And as we go forward, I reflect on what has been a very long and difficult uh, journey. And uh, it's a suck. All of my life has been a struggle, but not just my life, the life of many people uh, in the North. Peter is one of the greatest Gaelic footballers that ever graced uh, a Gaelic football field. And uh, Charlotte is one of the greatest mullers that was ever uh, on the island of Ireland. And of course, for Caroline and for Neve to survive what was a, a, a terrible event, uh, they have come through and are, in my book, heroes of the, the new way forward and where we want to be as a people uh, in terms of building a better future for everyone. This county, folks, is a very, very proud Irish country, and I am very, very proud to represent uh, the people of this country. And to be elected by people is a very humble experience, and I have always taken that responsibility very seriously indeed. When I first began to think about standing for the presidency of my country, it was a desire to serve to lead Ireland at this difficult time in our history and to try and use the office to make a difference to people's lives. I have never been willing to stand on the sidelines and to expect others to do the heavy lifting. Whatever people may think of the decisions that I have made throughout my life, and I stand by them, nobody, nobody can accuse me of failing to lead. I believe that peace building requires acts of reconciliation. On Saturday night at the launch of my campaign, I outlined how in historic terms we could mould a series of important historic centenaries our nation will mark over the next 10 years into a combined decade of reconciliation. Because I believe that building peace requires a continuous and ongoing effort to build relationships, to dialogue, to outreach, and to go the extra mile for peace. And I want to commend all those working, for example, in education, who have sought to break down barriers, making our education system more inclusive and indeed integrated. These people are real peace builders. So too those in the voluntary sector, and indeed those in sport, those in civic society, and those who continue day and daily to quietly go about the job of building a new rep republic brick by brick, and they sit up by and they sit up. I also believe that Ireland as a nation can only grow if we are at peace with ourselves as a people. And that is a 32 county project because peace building transcends partition. It means overcoming the historic fracture between Catholic, Protestant and the centre. And in the Ireland of 2011, it means embracing a diverse ethnic, culturally diverse and pluralist society. So I want to deepen and expand the role of the President to lead the process of national reconciliation in Ireland. And I believe that as a process of national reconciliation is already underway, there's now a greater tolerance of difference and diversity which is born out of better understanding of each other. You can say what you like about me in Dublin. Ordinary people can see through some of the things that are in because ordinary people are not stupid. And I take great pride in telling the journalists when they ask me about why people should vote for me that I represent one of the most proud Irish constituencies in the whole of Ireland, made up of the good people of South Derry and East Tyrone, and huge numbers who vote for me. Now, I go forward knowing who I represent and knowing that there's great excitement in the North about the prospect that I am in this race, whatever happens, happens. We're in it to win, and we're in it to do our best, and we're in it to build uh, on towards the new Ireland that I believe everybody on this island wants to see. We've had far too much selfishness and greed, and people looking after themselves. We now need to see, uh, we need to get rid of selfishness and greed, and we need to build an Ireland where we look after each other on the basis of equality where we look after the, the Billy Caldwells of this world and those children who are out there absolutely dependent on big decisions being taken which can change their lives for the better. For Amina, Amina, I am with
Well, I mean, it's great to see you here tonight, uh, such a lovely crowd. What motivated you to come? Well, I think, uh, after all, he's, he's our, my MP, and I was delighted to see that he had entered into, into the race for it. But um, again, uh, in, in 2003, when we won the All-Ireland, Martin was the first man to shake my hand in Oma. So I thought to myself, well, if he can come and shake my hand in Oma after two own winning, <laughs> he deserves to come and support him. So. Oh, it was absolutely fantastic. A good Tyrone, Cade Mila Falsha for, for the People's President. And uh, you saw the calibre of people that were on the stage here tonight. The hall was packed. There were people who couldn't get in. It really was a, a hugely uplifting experience. And Martin, as usual, spoke from the heart. He was fantastic. And uh, I think he's, he's gone out of here tonight knowing that Tyrone is 100% behind him. Barry Magalduff. Follow that. Well, that was first class. You, you know, young McGuinness didn't do too bad. You know, you'd have to give him a certain amount of recognition. Now, that was a first class evening where the people, the people came to listen to a presidential candidate here in Oma in the county town of Tyrone. As Jude Collins said, perhaps the first time that ever happened. And I particularly like the fact that Martin, a presidential candidate, is campaigning in the six counties because the presidential race is one thing. But a whole debate about partition, about uh, the nature of Ireland and its future, uh, is being opened up here uh, by Martin's candidature. And the way he spoke here tonight, pushing the boat out with new horizons and challenging people with new thinking, nice endorsements from Charlotte Caldwell, from Caroline and Neve, and of course from Peter the Great. Sure, it was a great Monday evening here in Oma. Barry McAuliffe, Karen Miller-Mogget. My who? Keep her lit. <laughs> Martin, you're well into the first week of your campaign and another great evening here in Oma County Throne. How's it going? It's going absolutely fantastic. Last night we were in Monaghan with a huge crowd in the Four Seasons and again here in Oma, absolutely huge crowd with several hundred people unable to get in. So it's all, you know, proves that there's massive excitement in the north about my involvement in this election. And obviously uh, tonight's theme was one of uh, reconciliation uh, in a town that has suffered so terribly as a result of conflict over the course of recent years. And it's great to see such a huge turnout and people in a really excited mood about where Ireland is going and uh, making it absolutely clear to everybody that they see us as the leaders to take it forward. To be here in such huge numbers tonight is just absolutely heartwarming. A number of the other candidates would say they have a vision for Irish unity, but yet we never see them in the six counties. What do you think that says about their vision? Well, I, you know, I think that when I was coming on here tonight, I was asked why I was canvassing in the uh, county of Tyrone, and I made the case of Tyrone uh, as part of Ireland, a very proud Irish county. And I've made it clear from the very beginning that uh, I'm an Irish Republican, I'm a Democrat, I want to be uh, a representative of all of the people of this island. What all our people do is a matter for themselves. Uh, it's up to them to answer for themselves. But I'm unashamedly uh, a United Islander, and I think that if I was to be elected uh, President of Ireland, I want to be seen as the President of all of Ireland's 32 counties.